In this video, we're going to be talking about the foods that we either hated or loved in the month of March. And March is a longer month, so um, we have a lot of stuff here. We only had three things that made it to the dislikes, and honestly, you might be surprised by, by some of these. Um, you can go ahead and do this one if you want. Um, um, this one is the, um, the Laughing Cow Blends Chickpea and Cheese Spread. That should surprise no one. <laughs> Those things should not be combined. No, they're, they're just gross. And other people were saying, that doesn't even sound good. Why, no, you know. Just, it wasn't very good at all. Yeah. I mean, chickpeas, I know a lot, and this is with the, with herb. Um, I know a lot of people like chickpeas like hummus, and maybe they were going for that hummus kind of thing. Going, it just wasn't very good. Even the texture wasn't good. So, <sighs> Um, this, Don't eat those. Don't anyone eat those. that watched this video will probably not surprise you that I put these. You know, I, I thought about not putting them in the video, but I really, really, really did not like no, these. These are good. the Pillsbury soft baked cookies. These are the sugar with drizzled icing. And I mean, we haven't touched them no. since I put them. They had a really bad chemical flavor. They did. Uh, and the other ones were good cookies. Yeah, the I other thought. ones were really good. Um, the peanut butter, I, I really well, enjoyed some them. Some of them were average cookies, but they were good. Yeah. They were bad. I mean, all. they weren't like spectacular. Right. They weren't like uh, bakery cookies or something exactly. like that. But for a. Uh, cookie that you get on the shelf at Walmart like this, I thought these were decent, really decent cookies. Uh, the birthday flavor was really good. The peanut butter was really good. These sugar cookies though, I wouldn't uh, recommend them to anybody. They just, they did not have a good flavor. It's, there was something like moldy uh, tasting about them and they're brand new. So it, they weren't good. Okay. And then lastly for the dislikes, the Moa. The Moa burger. The Pringles Wavy Moa burger. Some people like these. Yeah. I, I thought, I wrote on my cheat sheet, they reminded me of a truffle flavor. And they're still full. They're, we the, haven't eaten them soon. The package is still full. And, uh, I mean, I can offer them to Jennifer. It's my sister. They're good until um, May 1st of next year. That is um, um, See, I, I think that's the weirdest tie-in. Yeah, they see they smell kind of pickly, but um, it was that's the weirdest tie-in because the Moas were only in one Halo game, and it wasn't like a big character or anything. It was just this bird, mm -hmm. an extinct bird that I don't know if it somehow got old enough to make burgers out of. I guess. <laughs> well, just not good yeah. for us. Not good. Yeah, it just wasn't good. Um, so, I didn't mind them as much as you. I didn't dislike them as much as you did, but let's talk about some. Uh, let's do Betty Crocker. So, we did a series of these cookie cups, mm -hmm. and these were the best of the best. Yes, um, they both have candy pieces. The rainbow candy, and these are the peanut butter fudge. These have Reese's, mm -hmm. uh, Reese's Pieces. Both of these were terrific. Yeah, to be honest with you, all of them were good. Yes. These were just the ones we would say, this, I'd buy this again. Yes. Over and over again. They were easy to make. There was nothing hard about them. Uh, to do it. especially if you use the way you did it with the measuring cup to push it down in there and then the spoon to kind of make the dip in there yes. it was super easy you didn't have to fight with it or anything yes but if you could only pick one of these probably the Reese's I think I would pick the Reese's too yeah. although that one was, this one was right. it was delicious yeah. I think I would pick the Reese's too just because I, I'm a peanut butter fanatic yeah I like that Reese's flavor another Betty Crocker item that uh, we really liked uh, the no-bake cookie bites was the red velvet you would like most of those too. Yes, these are very easy to do. This is something that if your kids are just getting into the kitchen and you don't mind them getting their hands dirty because they are going to turn red from these, um, that this you is on this you, you could. This is something good for them to help you with, and it, it's a lot of fun. And there, nobody has to be perfect. If you saw the video, you know mine aren't perfect. I always make mine bigger than they're supposed to be. Um, but this is just a really nice red velvet. It tastes like red velvet. Then I'm gonna go ahead and show you these. Duncan Hines blew us away with these epic kits. These are awesome. They truly are. Uh, they are epic. Uh, this is the salted caramel brownie kit. And then I have a cookie dough cookie kit and the cookies and cream cookie kit. 
just phenomenal. Yeah, they were easy to make too. The flavors are absolutely terrific. Um, I would recommend any of these. Uh, any now, of the epic sets. Except much. there was one that I would have, I would not get again, and it was the last one we made. It was the Fruity Pebbles cake. Yeah, and it I wasn't made cupcakes. Much. It, it truly, I, I wouldn't do that one again. But even the it, texture wasn't really good for the cereal pieces or anything. It wasn't. So, um, they got kind of chewy. Yes, they got cereal and a cake mix. It just really isn't a good for combination. Some reason, that but all of these other ones were phenomenal so as out of far as these flavor. three, which would you get? Um, I mean, is there any question? I'm going, I'm probably going to be different than you. I'm going to pick the cookie dough. I'll pick that brownie any day. Well, I mean, I love them all. Yeah. I, I absolutely. But if I were to go to the store right now and, and Tanya said, go buy one of those epics, I would pick that brownie up. The, but they are really good. The cookies, though, were so big. The way we made them, at least. They were so big. And just, it makes I think my I mouth water thinking about like it. Like three fourths of them. And they were absolutely just terrific. Yeah, so very, very those good. are worth your money. But yeah, that Fruity Pebbles one was the only one that I, I just wouldn't get again. Um, and then we have, this is um, um, Megan and Kelsey sent us some items from Saris, Saris Candies, and I, I, three of them made the mm, favorites. They're really good. Uh, this is the milk chocolate covered pretzel, which everybody that has had Saris said that's like their favorite thing. I understand why, it's delicious. This is the buttercream egg, phenomenal. And then this is the cashew melt away. And so those were our three favorite things that, I mean, truth be told, everything They're was delicious good. from Sarah's, but those were the three very favorites. Like if we went there, we would get again. And do these? Oh, sure. Um, I can't read it. This is the Chakur. <laughs> this is the yeah. Aldi brand. The, I have the milk chocolate bunnies with caramel filling. Yes, and these were with milky cream filling. Yeah, these were excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely terrific. Uh, we um, have reserved some of these, believe it or not, to put in the Easter baskets. Uh, mm -hmm. Just because... Not our Easter baskets. No, not... <laughs> not, no. not to us. No, uh, but... The they, grandchildren. The grandchildren, yes. And um, I, I've told you all before, I'm going to tell you again. If you want different Easter candy... Aldi's the place to yeah, go Aldi because has stuff. they have beautiful, most of the packaging is from Germany and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. They like take extra pains on their packaging and it's just very, very pretty. You have two other things over there from Chaco. Those, yes. This is the, the, uh, oh, these are the eggs. Yeah. These are the ones, uh, I think, is it Milka or Cadbury makes one like just spoon like eggs this. Or something like that. Yeah. You get the little spoon and yeah. you, you can eat it like that. Um, although I tell you what we did with these because we have put some of these in the Easter basket too. Uh, we threw away the spoons and we are just giving the grandkids the yeah, eggs. You can eat them, just but, bite them. Yes. You bite it just like you do a Cadbury cream yeah. egg and they won't ever know that a spoon came with it. And I think it's, it'll be easier for them to just eat it with their, yeah. their fingers. It might be more fun to eat it with a spoon, but it's- It'd probably it's, last longer. Yeah, but for me, I just eat it. That's uh, the thing. This one is the longer. cookies and cream one. And this is the milk cream, yeah. but they were both Yeah, excellent. both really, really good. And uh, both from Aldi. Uh, so then, this was one of those CB stuffers, one of those huge, they were like this big, peanut butter cups that we found at Jungle Gems. Um, this is the Salted Pretzel Peanut Butter Cup, and this brand was excellent. Um, somebody told me that they had actually spotted this brand at like um, Home Goods or Tuesday oh, Morning or something like cool. that, and they were afraid to get it. They said they weren't afraid to get it anymore after seeing the yeah. review. Yeah, they were good. Delicious. If I ever saw these there, I would absolutely pick them up because I'm sure they're cheaper, uh, but they're absolutely worth it, and the size is... Yeah, they're really big. Can't beat <laughs> yeah. Peanut butter cup. Okay, so these are um, outright bars. I have a breakfast one. It is the uh, Mochaccino white chunk, white chocolate peanut butter. 
And this is just the regular cinnamon sugar donut cashew butter. Cashew butter. And then this is cookies and cream peanut butter. Yeah. These are really good too. These bars are, they have either peanut butter, cashew butter. I think one of them was Small. like sunflower butter. But I'm telling you what, these are excellent bars. Mm -hmm. And I know some of you um, think, oh gosh, a bar, it has, it can't be good. These are, yeah, these the, are and, really good. and the, no matter if it's in cashew butter or peanut butter or what it's in, you can really taste that base flavor. Mm -hmm. They didn't cover it up. Uh, like this one's cookies and cream. It's just accentuated mm -hmm. and they're very, very good quality. Yeah, I'm not a big bar person like this and these are, these are excellent. The only mm -hmm. negative about these, and I'm, I'll be very honest, is the calories. Because yeah. they are high calorie. Like this one's two. Well, depending on where you get them at, probably the cost. 290, too. 280, and 280, 280 calories for the bar. But if this is almost like a meal replacement or part of a lower calorie, like a salad in a bar, right. something like that, then that's not bad. Right, uh, they're just, they're really good. If you haven't tried them, I, I recommend you try them. These were both sent to us from Asthma in Ohio. It's called the Toffee House. This is the salted caramel bark. And these were little dangers, which that's exactly that's what they what are. are. Bite-sized pieces of world-famous dangerous stuff, English toffee. Asthma knows that we love English toffee. Yeah, those things were so sweet. They literally made your teeth hurt when you would eat them because <laughs> they would get stuck in your Not teeth. Worth and, it. But they were very, very good. Yes. Young. Phenomenal, phenomenal. So uh, that would be one that I would absolutely not pass up. All right, so I've got the Ben and Jerry's Topped Whiskey Biz. Which might surprise you that Kevin picked that. Mm, it was excellent. It was very good. It had a, um, I like the topping on top. It was really good. So I, what I did was I broke it up as much as I could and kind of mixed it in when I could. Uh, for the most part, you were just eating the ice cream now because the topping doesn't last super, super long because it's just one layer on the top. And, but the flavor of the whiskey was really, really good. And it was, it had that oaky woodsy kind of bourbon flavor, the whiskey flavor, but it wasn't like overpoweringly done. So it was just really good and sweet. Right. Sweet, sweet ice cream. Um, this uh, is the Russell Stover Toffee Squares. I believe George Ann sent us these. And we've tried so much from Russell Stover that it really surprised me that they had something that we hadn't uh -huh. tried. Uh, but the Toffee Squares, somehow we had missed those. This is probably um, one of my favorite things from them. Mm -hmm. Really, it uh, was. They were very good. Phenomenal. Had a good snap to them, but they were uh, they were also softer than a, like a brittle. Over the top sweet. Yeah. Yeah. These did not get stuck in your teeth yeah. really bad. Um, I mean, they did a little bit, but not like a like a brittle. No, and I don't remember how many calories they were a piece. They were 170, 170 for two. Two. Absolutely worth it. So that was sent from Georgian, and then these were also sent from Georgian. These are the uh, Perugina. Uh, this is the uh, Cappuccino in milk chocolate, and this is the Orangello and dark chocolate. I love this one. I think I think the Cappuccino was your favorite, mm -hmm. and then the orange and the dark chocolate was my favorite. Because I was surprised the that the was. Cappuccino was mine, because I use it like a strong coffee flavored chocolate and that was just really good. Yes, this is excellent quality chocolate. We had never had these before. If you missed the video, we did like, gosh, it seems like six or seven in one review. And uh, this is wonderful chocolate. I believe they sell these at like Walgreens if you're ever interested. Uh, this one is the, going back to Easter, this is my last Easter one. Uh, the Ferrero eggs. This one is chocolate crispy, chocolate crispy and creamy. Um, basically, it's chocolate, and then you got an egg-shaped like wafer kind of thing, and then this one is has hazelnut uh, inside, like a hazelnut cream. They were awesome. They yes. were awesome. I love the texture of that cream, and then you get that crispy wafery kind of piece, and then the the chocolate it was just. I mean, there was nothing wrong with this thing. Very very high quality chocolate. Yeah, very very good. Um, and then these um, are uh, tidbits, and I have only seen this brand um, at, at I th I like Home Goods. And so these are the birthday cake macaroons, and they were they had a really good birthday flavor. Um, we've reviewed this brand way back. These tidbits, and if you like coconut, mm -hmm. then the texture of these, this is one of those things, they're supposed to be five servings in the bag, uh, but it's one of those things where once you start, you don't wanna stop because they're so good. Mm -hmm. And you don't realize 
how many times you put your hand in the back. So, and then they're gone. You um, I can do this one. Okay. This one is the, uh, um, Devon's. Devon's. It's a uh, Mackinac Island fudge company is what it says in the front, but Devon's yes. makes it. This one was the death by chocolate fudge. And all their fudge is good, mm -hmm. but we have found that we like just the chocolate-based fudge yes. the best from that company. Like anything that's chocolate-based, we pretty much liked it the best. So yes. anything anything chocolate-based is is safe to get. Yes. Um, but this one had the big hunks of chocolate in it too, if I remember, like mm -hmm. the chips. Um, excellent, excellent quality. Um, this company just makes really good fudge, and they sell it all over the place. And we've seen it in, in all kinds of different places. We have, yeah. yeah. But Jungle Gems has a, like a special they have display. A, yeah, and they use they had like what four new ones, five new oh, ones, yeah. six something like that, that we, we hadn't, hadn't tried yet. Yeah. So. Uh, these I ordered on uh, online uh, from Cliff, and some people said they were really surprised that that I like these. But I genuinely love these. Yeah, she, she said that over every time she would get them, she would say, I love these things. <laughs> I'm the one that finished the bag. Uh, we tried barbecue. The barbecue were good. They were okay. Um, but these are the white cheddar cheese. Yeah, they were really good. And the garlic is so strong. And I love that garlicky flavor. And they say 10 servings, 10 clusters or, or 150 calories. Every, each time that we weighed them out uh, for the video, we weighed out these and the barbecue. They were both nine. So when I would like have a sandwich for dinner, I would only get nine for 150 calories. Uh, but I hope these come to the store. Mm -hmm. I hope, I, like I said in the video, that the price is lower than these were. Uh, but they're excellent. And I hope everybody gets the opportunity to try them because I just love that garlic flavor. Yeah, they were good flavors, but they also had a really good texture to them too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you want to yeah. do these? All right, so these are the you can talk about well, Shirley's. These were the ones that you love the most, and then <laughs> these are the Shirley's um, Cookie Company. Um, I have the Whoopi, the chocolate and vanilla Whoopi pies, which there's the label. Kevin and they were awesome. Love. I ate every one of them. Love them. These are the no bake peanut butter. Yeah, and those were okay for me, but nothing it didn't compare to these. My uh, favorites every month, I guarantee you, there's something toffee and something peanut butter. If we were to look back, because I'm just, that's just like, I should always think of that too. When people say, what's your favorite food? Usually I just say, oh, pizza. Really, it's not. Really, I should just peanut always butter. say peanut butter, because mm -hmm. it is peanut butter. Peanut butter and toffee. That's what those are my favorite things. I don't think that's so, food though. The peanut butter, I guess. Technically. Food. It's food. I can eat it. If I can eat it, it's food. That's true. Uh, but these Shirley's Cookie Company, we have only seen these sold in a odd place, Critchfield Meats, which is a local store around here. So I don't know what other store these are sold mm, in around no, here. I have no clue. You would think that they made. would be in um, a lot of other uh, stores, and they're not. Yeah. Uh, Pennsylvania, yeah, and you just don't see them around here. I don't know mm -hmm. why. Uh, very good quality. But they were excellent. All, all the things we tried from them were good, but those were the best too. Now, we have the same brand, but you have chips. I have chips. They're crinkle cut Irish cheddar and red onion. And I have popcorn. Oh. These are the bigger bite popcorn. This is the honey and sea salt. I'm the one that uh, ate the popcorn I after the, the review <laughs> because we reviewed like three popcorns in one video. And I'm thinking when we did the video, there was like a movie butter or something like that. And I'm thinking in that video, I said that was my favorite. And if I did, no, no. After having more, this is my favorite, honey and sea salt. You like those anyway. Yes. I think I like the butter one better than you did either. But I, I'm the one that finished the bags, and I just absolutely love this. The, the it, They're sweet. They have a nice uh, coating on the outside, mm -hmm. and just all around good. And Kios is a good brand anyway. They are, I was going to say, you yeah. can't go wrong with pretty much anything they have. We, we haven't found anything we didn't like. Um, the Irish Cheddar Red Onion was just a really good oniony flavor, and it, but it wasn't like overpoweringly onion. It was just really nice onion. And then we both have one of these. These, uh, this Martin's brand is not a brand that we get in our area. Mm -hmm. We found these at Christmas tree shops, and this is the jalapeno. And I have the um, cheddar. cheddar and sour cream. I'm just, yeah. just the crunchy set cheddar and sour cream. Excellent, excellent they potato really chips. Good. This is a great brand. 
All of these. Made. They're all so made in, in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Uh, somebody said Pennsylvania knows their potato chips. Yep. Um, th these are, uh, honestly, anything by this brand was good. It was really good. Now, the salted ones were just like your typical regular uh, bland potato, chips. potato chips. But, but nothing but wrong with them. No, there's no, definitely nothing wrong with them. If yeah. you want a plain chip, that's what you get. Yes. So, but I, I love this yeah, brand. Were, they were if they sold these around here, we wouldn't have Which, any issue buying them. No, no, not at all. So now Kevin, like I said, I tell you every month, Kevin has a channel called Lunchtime Review. It is only Kevin. Uh, you get Kevin all by himself five days a week. Four days a week he reviews something that is ready-made or shelf-stable or frozen. Something you can take to work and make for lunch. Uh, yes, he doesn't use an oven. He only uses a microwave oven or a toaster sometimes. Um, no, never use You that. don't use a toaster? Never use a toaster. Um, so the microwave. Microwave, yeah, I've only um, used the microwave. And then one day a week he goes out to eat. So if you like to see the, the drive-through or a fast food restaurants or even sit-down restaurants, because now they do curbside yeah. service. And that's, um, sometimes that's the only place you don't know where you can get it. He can go to some really uh, nice restaurants that you wouldn't have thought of, but he does that one time a week. And those videos come out on Thursdays. So this one I got a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, this one is the Cup Noodle Stir Fry Korean Barbecue Flavor. Um, it just had an excellent, excellent stir fried flavor. You got that um, that cooked soy saucy kind of flavor, like it would have been actually cooked in a wok. That's what this flavor was. It was like one of the best uh, cup noodles I've ever had, or one of these kind of noodle bowl kind of things. It's one of the best ones I've had. And that was recommended by someone. Yeah. Someone recommended it. Yeah, we I didn't write it down, but but I think a couple of people even said that we that the, once I said we had them in the hall, I think a couple of people said, oh, I love those. Well, even though I wasn't the one eating it, it smelled wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I thought it smelled really yeah, good. Was some of the good. things he reviews <coughs> smell terrible. I mean, it, they'll stink up the whole yeah. house. And it's like, my goodness, how could you eat that? But now that smelled really good. Well, it was a, it was a thicker, the textures were really good. It was a thicker uh, sauce, like ramen noodles. I don't really like ramen noodles because they're so watery. Right. And then some people say pour the water out. It's like if you read the directions, they don't say anything about pouring water out. They, well, they and don't that's say drain right a lot of flavor. The, the soup enough. is is some of the flavor, yeah. Right. So uh, they're very soupy. This one's a thicker noodle meal, so it's just really good, and the flavors are really good. So now I do like to go over uh, the things that Kevin had. He had uh, four meals out this month from restaurants. And some of them, uh, I don't know that he had the best luck with all of these this month. Um, on the 4th, you had the McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich. Yeah. On the 11th, <laughs> you had the Starbucks chicken and bacon panini. Yeah. You had, on the 18th, you had the Dunkin' Donuts grilled cheese melt, which yeah. was a new sandwich for Dunkin' Actually, Donuts. Actually, two of us. I had the grilled cheese you melt had, and I had... You a, had a sourdough something. Um, and I did It was a sourdough melt as well, but it had... Um, and I didn't breakfast write, stuff. On. I didn't write it down. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And then lastly, I, you're, I know you're going to say this was your favorite. He had the Chewy's uh, steak burrito, uh, Mexican rice, and refried. Yes, fried that rice. was definitely my favorite one. Because he um, gave that a five. But I will have to say that it was expensive. So that's not something you're going to go out and eat at lunch all the time. All the time, no. even halfway regularly. So out of the, so that was like by far the top one. And someone said something about putting it on a tray. That's what I had it on. Was a tray that sits on your steering wheel. Um, but that meal was bigger than the tray was almost. So uh, it was, and it was aluminum. So it was wanting to slide around on the tray because the tray is not. You know, it doesn't have a lip around it. It's just a flat surface. So right. it holds it still, but we're also parked on a little bit of a hill. So the gravity was pulling it towards me the whole time. And I didn't want it to lay against me because I didn't want the sauce on me. So anyway. Those trays are the, really, the really nice. They hook onto uh, your, steering your steering wheel. And... Um, yeah, it's very, very, very nice. We should tell the story. I think you told that one. Have I, I think I told somebody else. I don't know that I've ever told it no. on a blog. We, uh, Kevin keeps it in his back seat. Like and, behind the seat. Yeah, behind the seat. There's like a pocket. And for some reason, it hasn't been too awfully long ago. Ashley was with us and we went to a restaurant and she got, we all got food. And we, we looked, she said, how do you get this thing on? And we looked behind us in the seat and she was trying to take that The tray, little part that you put on the steering wheel. And she was trying. Put it around, around her. her waist. <laughs> 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 it 
<laughs> she was trying to I said, no, pay for the steering wheel. We told Jennifer. That's because was. Jennifer was in the back seat when we went to eat donuts. Yeah. And we tell Jennifer, we hadn't told the story on a vlog, yeah, but we thought that funny. was the funniest yeah. thing because it's it's shaped to where it attaches to your steering wheel. And for some reason, Ashley just pictured it going to, around, going around your waist. It, it, does, it doesn't work like no, that. No, it doesn't go. Nobody's um, got a waist that small. No. Um, but out of the other meals, just let me mention real quick. Um, out of the other meals, I would probably honestly out of those three i would probably get the starbucks because it had a lot of flavor it was way too expensive for what it was it didn't smell like chicken and bacon at all though it, it had a good flavor though it yeah. really did have a lot of it seasoning just didn't smell it. like it um what it was called the dunkin donuts the grilled cheese was okay it was a grilled cheese i like the bread the sourdough was actually better and it was a breakfast um thing and it mm -hmm. was it was actually better the mcdonald's crispy chicken i just wasn't impressed with it it was just it was just bland. It was, it was, it was there was no flavor to it. I mean, literally, they didn't put any flavoring in the breading. Um, unlike like Chick Fil A and all the other KFC. chicken places, they uh, they actually put seasoning in the breading. There's just really was very very bland. So maybe if you put like barbecue sauce or sweet and sour or something on top of it, if it would, it would be better. But um, yeah, just as it was, I just didn't care. For and it. a lot of people, that's something about his lunchtime reviews. A lot of people will say, well, I would put this with it and this with it. But Kevin is ju literally judging on it on what they give you. This yeah. is what the meal, it's supposed to be good the way that they yeah. give it to and you. And if it's, if they say, do you want, um, if the, like the suggested way of eating is with some kind of sauce, then either you put, would the, eat it then like put the sauce on the sandwich, first of all, just go ahead and put it on there. Um, or ask me, do you want blah, blah, blah sauce? And say, like, yeah, sure. Um, just like chicken nuggets. So, you know, they ask you what kind of chicken dipping sauce you want. And of course he's going to eat those with the sauce. Yeah. Um, but if it doesn't naturally come with it, then for a, yeah. for a fair review, he has to try it the way that they right. think everybody's supposed to eat yeah. it. Yeah, that's I eat all kinds of things. That this, if I were to put ketchup, mustard, and all kinds of stuff on it, it's going to make it much, much better. Right. But um, but I'm trying to to try it out exactly as it comes. Right. Exactly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is the one to watch if you couldn't watch every one of these videos. This is the one that if something piqued your interest, if you missed it, or you just thought, like with the outright bars, if you thought, oh, I'm not really into bars, I don't need to watch that video, you might want to go back and watch the video because uh, very good. they will surprise you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.